men and women who protect and serve our communities can now drive a vehicle that will better protect them. The new E7 from Carbon Motors Corporation is specifically designed by police officers for police officers. It's safer, fuel efficient, and saves taxpayer dollars. Right now, fire departments, emergency medical technicians, the military, and even mail carriers all use vehicles built specifically for them. But the country's 800,000 law enforcement first responders drive dangerously retrofitted family sedans. I remember thinking about this when I was a rookie cop, thinking, why do the firemen have the fire trucks and the ambulances, and even the post office has their own purpose-built vehicle? Where's ours? And uh, thankfully, now it's here. It's incredible. Vice Chairman of the 9-11 Commission, the Honorable Lee Hamilton, said providing law enforcement with the proper tools is of the utmost importance. The first responsibility of government is to assure the safety of their people. Uh, that applies uh, in national defense. It applies in homeland security. A sentiment that is echoed by the nation's first secretary of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Governor Tom Ridge, who said, quote, at the local, state, and federal level, law enforcement is up against entirely new challenges that didn't exist 30 years ago. That's why we need to arm the men and women who protect our communities with the most up-to-date equipment. The E-7 has the potential to meet that need, which would lead to safer and more effective patrol and policing operations and safer neighborhoods across America, end quote. The carbon E-7 is equipped with the latest in law enforcement technologies, is built to jump curbs, handle dangerous suspects, and provide protection for the officer, as well as the communities they serve. In this post-9-11 age, uh, the vehicle actually has a radiation sensor in the vehicle as well, uh, and a number of WMD-related uh, sensing technologies to make sure, again, to keep our homeland uh, safe. Also, more and more law enforcement agencies are looking for fuel-efficient and durable police cars. They just don't have the durability to run a 24-7 operation. And what the officers put a vehicle through, the regular everyday passenger car just can't compete. The nation's fleet of law enforcement vehicles burns through an estimated 1.5 billion gallons of gasoline every year. High gas prices and hard economic times have made the carbon E7's fuel-efficient engine even more important. It's 40 percent more fuel-efficient than the current market of vehicles used for law enforcement. As a police chief, I have to be concerned about the bottom line also. I, I have a budget I have to meet, and this would allow me to have more efficiency in my budgeting process. The Carbon E7 was built bumper to bumper and from the ground up with over 100 features specifically requested by more than 1,800 law enforcement professionals from all 50 states. With the integration of all law enforcement equipment into the cockpit, much like with a fighter jet or a helicopter, Carbon Motors Corporation has resolved all of the ergonomic and safety inadequacies that have gone unaddressed in police vehicles for far too long. With communications equipment, a molded transport compartment, laptop and printer, lights, sirens, radar, and chemical, biological, and radiation sensors, these cars are safer and better equipped to protect officers and will meet all federally mandated safety standards for automobiles. I think as more people take a look at it, there, there will be that many more ahas, okay, and that's what's going to spur on the sales and make it economically viable. For more information, visit www.carbonmotors.com.